All right, Rotterdam, we next turn our attention to the welterweight. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He became a bronze medalist in last year's European Championships. His professional record, 15 wins with just three losses, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, and he weighed in at 169.1 pounds, 76.7 kilos. He's here in the Netherlands tonight, fighting out of Bulgaria. Please welcome Tidor Ristal. Here now is his opponent, a European and world max champion. His appearance in the ring tonight is a milestone, marking his 100th career fight. His record stands at 70 wins with 26 losses, three bouts scored even, and 40 career knockouts. He stands six feet even, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 169 and one half pounds, 76.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Suriname, he is the former welterweight champion of the world. He is Myrtle the Predator. Grunhard! And once again, your referee for this contest, Niels Burskins. Happy holidays to you all. We are okay, thrilled that you could be a part three three of no the glory Make it a clean number and clean 90 from Check RTM if you like. stage Oops. in Rotterdam, Netherlands. There's the young gun, Theodore Christoff. No Are ready? Fight! The veteran looking for his 71st professional win. Ron Kruk and the former champ, Joseph Altolini, with you tonight. Nice inside leg kick to get this fight going from Grunhardt. Yep, we're gonna see how sharp and confident this young guy is. We know Myrtle's always confident, always ready to go. No doubt about it. Big thing is how does Christoph do against a, a big, experienced fighter? Big test for this young fighter here. It's, he's got a lot going on too. First time that he's fighting here in glory. First time in Holland, and as you heard in that feature, he's fighting a legend that was his idol as well. But you gotta put all that behind you and concentrate on business, correct? Yeah, I agree, and I mean, this is where confidence has to play, and I think Christoph has that, and when I always talk about new generation versus old, it's these young guys, and I'm a big believer in it, in the calf kicks. And this is where you see already uh, Theodore using the calf kick against Myrtle. <laughs> Slow down that veteran fighter. Yep. Enjoy that lead leg. See those unorthodox strikes, how he can switch stances naturally, and he goes to the calf there, but Myrtle's pressure. Fight. That's what he's known for. When Myrtle comes Fight. forward, it's the most dangerous thing. Oh, push kick from Pistoff. Yep. Pistoff ate a jab coming in. Oh. It's very impressive Fight. with the Fight. 22 hey, 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 hey. He takes right. a tumble. Stop the time, stop the time. Man, that knee landed, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to see. Okay. We're gonna find out here in a moment. Watch out, then. This stuff you know, shook it off pretty okay. good. Okay, fight is ready. Fight! No knockdown, and Greenheart comes back with the flying knee. Nice quick hands from this stuff. Good combination work. I think the longer this fight goes, the better for Hisstoff. Confidence will be building. I was a little worried to see if the big show and the bright lights would get to him, but so far, looks very comfortable. In the world. Even in the press conference was good. Yeah. Just good sharp, point. confident. Man, look at him. Switching stances against yeah. a veteran like that. Moving his head, unorthodox striking. Right now, very even in the strikes. 49% of landing. Very even opening round. Very good at staying patient, though. He's trying to set his big shots up. The thing that's dangerous about Myrtle is he likes to attack in these little spurts and moments. So you think he's relaxed, and all of a sudden he comes flying out with some crazy combinations. So I think you always have to stay focused every second of this fight when you're fighting Myrtle. 
Because those flying knees can come from nowhere. Absolutely. This stuff with good combination now. Using the clinch in his knees. It's stopped finishing this first round very strong. Yeah, which could have stole Dang. that round for him very easily with that little last late pressure. That was a onslaught towards the end. What a matchup here. <laughs> there is the Predator. Loves to throw those knees after a combination. That big mic in his corner giving instructions is one of the class acts of the kickboxing world. Oh yeah, and he's got passion, the energy, the love for the sport. It's just amazing to have Myrtle around. The young gun here, one of my favorite up and coming stars here. Theodore Christoph representing Bulgaria. He's good for heavy combos, looking for the knockout. And he does everything pretty good. Mixes his kicks, his knees, his boxing, good counters, sharp eyes. Very talented and confident young man. Myrtle, you can see here, very aggressive when he has you moving background, throwing these walking punches at you. But Kristoff is was able to stay composed and get some of his own combinations back. Four okay, second round. Younger Fight. than Greenheart. Right now, Kristoff is not showing his elder much respect. This is a fight. Well, let's see these scorecards popping up any second here. This is but I'm really intrigued for. That was a close round. Mike! Absolutely three go the way of Histoff. Two for Grunhardt. Are you surprised at that, Jason? No, I think it was a split round. I mean, you could have, Myrtle had some great moments. Histoff ended very strong, but the calf kicks are adding up. Keep an eye on them. And good job by Histoff mixing the calf kick with the overhand right, making Myrtle guess. Myrtle's gonna have to pressure to kind of stop these calf kicks. Mixing it up pretty well, no doubt about it. Mike! You're right though, Ron, he is getting more confident. You see him sitting on his punches a little bit harder. You're seeing more spinning attacks out of him. He's maybe settling in a little bit. Absolutely. Mike. Beautiful move and hard pull. Fight! Restart. Showing off his flexibility. Ow. Absolutely. And 22 years old. He's in with an 83% win rate, 47% knockout ratio. Definitely his toughest Wait. test yet. No gimmies in glory, that's for sure. No. 100th fight, well, here you go. You got a 22-year-old stud coming up. Good luck. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's kickboxing. Absolutely. Whether you're young, middle, old, you fight the best. There's no babying anybody in this sport. Part of me was like, why would you give Kristoff, Myrtle Grunhardt? Let's build them, but hey, look, proving me wrong. Ooh, Grunhardt. Quick! Yep. Grunhardt's trying to pick up some danger factor here. A little bit of a slower round, maybe, for Myrtle. Well, and you wonder if those calf kicks are starting to take their toll, as I mentioned. There we go, that's where Myrtle's got to open up there. Gotta look for these moments and counters. Quick. Coming up on 30 seconds to go. Very welterweight division. Special combination from his stuff. Blake. He's always switching stances, yes. comfortable in both. Yes. And you mentioned it, very unpredictable too. He's driving that unorthodox yes. style. He's got the veteran guessing right now. Blake. Spin off the Fight. ropes. You don't want to be Dang. laid up against the ropes with Myrtle attacking you. Once again, a glory would like to thank its new partner for photo. Welcome to the glory family. To get ready to move into that third and final round.
Big key breaths there from the 36-year-old Greenhart. I feel Myrtle needs a big energetic round. To push hard here. This is the time you want to shine. The main event is the welterweight world title. Semelier is going to want to look for somebody. Yeah, okay, absolutely. check it out. This is why, as a, as a welterweight at this point of the card, you need to tell Robbie Timmers you're up for the task. Yes. Okay, final round. Fight! Grunhart made it clear to us, Joseph, that he felt that he was one or two. He needed a couple wins to maybe get another title shot. The former Fight. glory Fight. Yeah, I think it's important Myrtle gains that experience. And there you go. All five judges are even way to your door. Kristoff. So Kristoff is winning on three out of the five judges. So he can kind of coast here, but I don't think that would be a great strategy. I still think he needs to counter and keep fighting to keep Myrtle off of him. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. Still has some power left in him. 40 career knockouts. And he, the Predator, oh! walking, but is dropped. He claims it was an elbow. It could have Five, easily been because Myrtle six, was pressuring seven. forward. He's having a hard time getting up. He's right in front of us. Yeah, yeah it might be Stop it. Stop done. Stop done. Stop done. I don't think that time. needs to be. Are they going to review like, it? Is there a review minus option? Yeah. What? Right Martin Martin has point? taken a knee in front of us. He definitely like. was dazed after the shot from Theodor Christoff. Spinning back fists are dangerous because you press forward and then you're supposed to hit the spinning Take back time, fist okay. with the glove. But if you're pressuring in, that moment you turn your head, you can't really control it. But I, I don't know, it's going to be very tough. Even if it hits the tank of the glove, we need to get a better look now. From spins around. Oh, that was all elbow. 100% elbow to the face. Yeah. That was all elbow. I mean, for Greenheart to even get up, he is you get still a warning, dazed huh? Next confused. time is minus point. Yes? Okay. I almost think that should be a point now. It has to be. I mean, that much I mean, damage, damage, that needs a point. Right. That was done. But, but I don't know, like, even now. I mean, Myrtle's already compromised. That was a big elbow. It's yeah. an illegal shot. Yeah, the point should have been his opponent. The referee now is talking to the corner. They're gonna make you vote for me. Niels Berkland, but I have not seen him deduct a point yet. Mm -hmm. No, maybe even bring in the doctor or something to, to look. I almost don't think it's fair for Myrtle to make this decision. He's probably still rocked from it. 100%. I don't think he's recovered yet. No. That was a full-blown MMA USC style yes. elbow. And he dropped that. It wasn't like he got clipped. Okay. I don't know. He doesn't look ready. Well, I, I okay. still don't understand. Fight now? The fact that a point was not deducted. Yeah, minimum. Okay, fight is ready. Fight. Yeah. Well, either way, this fight continues under two right. minutes to go. Yeah, I just fight. hope Myrtle's okay and doesn't have to eat too much more, to be honest with you. Oh, and he's stuck. Kristoff coming in. How both right. fighters. Beautiful exchange. Myrtle bringing the spirit out. Good for him. A lot of fighters probably wouldn't have continued to fight after no. that, so credit to Myrtle for yes. wanting to entertain Break. everybody. Time back. The angle we had, we had to go to the replay to see the elbow because we couldn't see it, but we could clearly see that Milton Greenhart was wrong. The way he fell, you don't feel absolute if you weren't put out. But he's in now, let's see what he can do. He never knows, fighting sport. <laughs> These two exchanging huge shots right now. Yeah, still using his eyes, but 
Swinging wildly here, under a minute to go in the final round. Kristoff isn't gonna take the gas off the pedal, he's still throwing those bombs. And Grunhardt's going nowhere in his 100th career fight. Back and forth action here in the Glory Welterweight division. Quick, tell back. Two-time glory champion, welterweight and interim champ, Berto Grunhart. Trying to back. steal a win here. Fight! Grunhart has thrown more strikes than this stuff, but is only landing 28% compared to 49 for the 22-year-old. Still very impressive fight. I know that's getting back this kind of damper things a bit, but great fight for Theodore Christoph, the way he put everything together. Got to give him a lot of good credit and praise for what he did. You do. You don't want to take away the performance that was uh, put on by the young man. However, he definitely was an elbow that dropped Greenheart, and of course, elbows are not legal in glory kickboxing. The Official decision is coming up next. Stick around. It might be nice for Latescu to throw some good power kick. Let's go! One, one, two, wow, three. Look at Mr. Four, cool, just shrugs his shoulders four, like, like it's another six. day. Stick and move style of El you cannot count him out! He's all in. And he's willing to take oh. whatever kick you give him. He sent him down for a second time! It's this cl clubbing right hand. And, and the left hook! Oh. And, and that may oh. do it! What a left Two. hook from the Romanian! Four. Right hand, left Four. hand. Latescu's got them both! Six. Seven! Eight! Hands on. I don't know how they're much they're gonna let him continue. Here. They're gonna let him go. Todd, he's going out! I'm telling you, stop this. Stop it! It is no. over! What a Tescu, he's only 21 years old! What a finish. He found the right hand, but then he came with the left hook, and then he put them together in that combination. Elbony, older, more experienced, taller, unorthodox. The 21-year-old Latescu, just unbelievable power in those hands. The stars are out here in Rotterdam. There is the heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven. Great to see him. Yeah. And others, too, yeah, Joseph. Serkan Azkaglian. Thank one of the you. the most fun fighters to watch. Serkan from Turkey. I know he's excited to get back in the ring and loves tournaments. The Golden Wolf, Bahram Rajamzadeh, who will be in the, the heavyweight qualifying yes. tournament. And he did it in spectacular fashion. He's gonna be the underdog in that tournament. And the champs in the house too. Yep, Donaghy Abena. We saw him just beating Tusashi. And then uh, here we go <laughs> to Johnny Bastadi, who made some noise in the ring today. Well, let's check out the highlights now from that welterweight matchup. Grunhardt and Christoph. Back and forth, it was one round a piece going into the third. Yeah, the veteran versus the young up and comer. It was a very close first round, both long, rangy, technical, but Theodore Hristov had some good combination, mixed things up well, was able to pressure, use his box and his kicks, but very sharp eyes for the young fighter, was able to just get out of range and kind of slow Myrtle down a little bit. Good angles here, but I mean, we saw that damage, that knockdown here was an elbow. Yeah, we want to make that clear. It was an elbow that put Myrtle down. But Theodore Hristov didn't put his gas off and just kept coming forward and went for a finish but couldn't get it. Checking out the glory, a strike count, and Hristov definitely more accurate, as you can see, landing 89 of 185 for 48% accuracy compared to 28 for Grunhardt. But pace was the trick for Grunhardt, especially in that third round where he really stepped up his strikes thrown per minute. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now 
are the totals from our five ringside judges. Two judges score them out 29, 28. The three remaining judges all see it 30, 27. It's a unanimous decision, all for your winner, Tino Risto. I'm here with your winner, Theodore Christoph. You just beat a fighter you really looked up to. How does this win feel for you? It's amazing. Truly, this, this is a game, dream came true. So he had a lot of experience and I couldn't do all of my stuff. It was hard fight for me and I respect him and it was a good fight and I'm sorry for this illegal shot. It wasn't on purpose, so I respect him and yeah. I, the way you were able to hang with him technically, we know Myrtle's a fighter who's good technique, long punches, but you did such a good job and we're beating him and pushing him back. Did it go as you planned? Uh, I don't know. I'm not uh, impressed by myself because I know that I'm 100 times better. Next time I will prove that I'm better and I will show it. We have a big year coming up in 2024 and we have the title fight later tonight. Is that what your goal is here in the next year? Uh, I don't know, step by step, a lot of fighters wait uh, for the shot. So when my time comes, they will invite me and I will fight. I will never cancel a fight. All right, let's hear it for your winner, Theodore Hristoff.